Hi guys and welcome to today's video. I'm in the kitchen today. I have not had breakfast yet because I wanted to try out a breakfast food so I thought I'd make the video on my breakfast. We are trying out pancake spaghetti today. Um, it has recently been a viral video on TikTok. Um, there they call them squiggle cakes. So I've heard both names. I've heard squiggle cakes been floating around and the name pancake spaghetti. Basically, it's pancake batter that you sort of put into the pan in, in like lines or stripes and then pick them up and they work like spaghetti and you top them with whatever topping you enjoy. Sounds interesting. I wonder if it's more fun than eating pancakes, um, normal pancakes, or if it tastes exactly the same doesn't make a different, different and doesn't make a difference. Let's just go for it. Let's try it out. I'm using the BBC recipe um, for pancakes, for pancake batter. That's 100 grams of flour, 300 milliliters of, it said semi-skimmed milk. I don't have any semi-skimmed milk in the house. I'm using whole milk. It'll have to do. We'll make it work. And two eggs and a tablespoon, full of, a tablespoon of oil for the dough. Plus, it says in the recipe, more oil for frying. But the TikTok video I saw, the, the original TikTok video, I've forgotten the guy's name who it's by, is um, he says use butter. So for frying, we're going to use butter. Let's get started. is ready although to me to be honest it seems very very liquid I, and I haven't even used all of the milk I've still got about 100 milliliters left so I have the feeling that either the recipe is wrong which is the BBC I probably do I don't think so at least not by, by that margin um, or I probably did it wrong ha however we shall go with the flow <laughs> so let's put some butter in the frying pan and start frying some spaghetti Got a freezer bag here, and in there we pour our pancake batter. Whee! So here we are, and what you do now is, like with a piping bag, you cut off the very tip of the bag and squirt it into the frying pan. Now, I didn't use all the pancake batter because I somehow, just in case I've gone wrong somewhere with the dough, um, we'll have a chance to try again. Oh shit! <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> well, that went wrong. Oh crap. Oh god. Apparently, you're supposed to wait until there's bubble on, bubbles on top of the dough, which means that it's really sort of fried well on the bottom. So, we're waiting for bubbles here. I can't see any bubbles. This is the first batch I fried. Um, it's slightly browned. I think it needs to fry a little bit for a little bit longer. So I'm gonna leave the second batch a little bit longer. Also, I think you saw in the video that uh, putting that pancake batter in, in spaghetti shapes is somehow not easy. If you, you need to practice getting the hang of it first. Spaghetti! As I said, I haven't had breakfast yet. Pancakes are making weird noises. 
Mm. Spaghetti! <laughs> the ones on TikTok look nicer and they look more like spaghetti, but to be fair, that guy has been practicing it for, for a little while longer and we're not here for the looks, are we? We're here for, we're here for authenticity, as I keep saying it, and I should stop swinging at you. Sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna try these pancake spaghetti, and I wanna put some sugar and cinnamon on top. Now, they're not spaghetti-like as the others are in the video, but we'll see if the spaghetti shape makes pancakes more fun. Right, my honest review on pancake spaghetti. Perfectly, absolute, perfectly delicious pancakes. But for me, they don't need to be in the, pan in the spaghetti shape because first of all, they go cold quicker. Second of all, can't spread toppings on them so easily. Like I would have loved to put Nutella on, to be quite honest. But then I thought, well, no, how am I gonna, no, that's just messy. Like you need a chocolate sauce, I guess, or something. Um, they like they do get colder quickly. These are already cold, and to be quite honest, it's quite a lot of fuss. Sort of putting the pancake batter in the freeze bag, cutting the bottom off, put it in in stripes. If you could just perfectly well, just plonk all the batter in the in the frying pan and fry that and make yourself a normal pancake. They look fun for kids. For kids, they're probably really great. Like if you have kids, then these are probably probably really fun to do for them. Um, but apart from that, I'm fine with just plain pancake. But they're perfectly delicious. So thank you very much for watching. Leave me in the comments below if you enjoyed and if there are any other food trends uh, you heard of that maybe I haven't heard of yet that you would like me to try. And thank you very much for watching. Subscribe if you like, if, subscribe if you enjoyed and hit the like button. Hope to see you next time. Thank you very much for watching. Stay happy, stay healthy and bye bye.